Greetings, good people. Thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to the channel. If you're a returning Royal family member, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Royal B. Hot topics time. Okay, so Wendy Williams appears to be extremely petty. All right. And I'm going to point something out that I actually noticed today while I was trying to do a little bit of research. Andy Cohen. The people want Andy Cohen gone. They have gone so far as to set up a petition to get him removed from Bravo. This is real serious. All right, please make sure you're paying your admission fee by hitting the like button and make sure you sound off in the comments, share your thoughts. All right, so let's get into it, right? This is the Wendy Williams YouTube channel, the Wendy Williams show YouTube channel, right? So I was doing a little bit of homework, trying to research something because I wanted to make a reference to a specific episode, right? So I'm scrolling, 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 looking for what I'm looking for. And I noticed that what I needed was not on the Wendy show's YouTube page. So you guys know that after the show's air, uh, they broadcast or they upload videos on Wendy Williams' channel, right? So I'm scrolling. I was going to reference something that Michelle Visage and Leah Remini covered when Leah Remini was guest hosting for Wendy Williams, right? So I'm scrolling and I'm like, where the heck are the episodes of Leah Remini and Michelle Visage? They're gone. Not here. I even went on to Leah Remini's uh, Twitter page to see if she posted anything. They're not here. Now, if you guys remember, it was rumored that Wendy Williams did not approve of people, certain people filling in for her, Leah Remini being one of them. So that was the talk. We don't know how true that is or isn't. But looking on her page, I don't see any of the episodes with Michelle Visage and Leah Remini. Could be a mistake, but that's a pretty specific mistake if you ask me. So I chalk it up to Wendy Williams not liking the fact that Leah Remini and Michelle Visage guest hosted for that week. The episodes with Whitney Cummings are on here. That was, oh, bored me to tears. Interesting. Wendy girl, what is going on? Now, we don't know if Wendy Williams runs the, the YouTube channel for the Wendy show, but why are the Leah Remini episodes removed? Michael Rappaport is there. Sherry Shepard is there. Hell, Whitney Cummings is there, but Leah Remini isn't. How you doing? Wendy, you stop that, and you stop that right now, okay? All right, let's switch gears, okay? So... There's a petition, right, for uh, Andy Cohen on change.org to be removed from Bravo, right? But Andy Cohen has had his fair share of tiffs with people, okay? Most recently, Candace Dillard, okay? She is accusing Andy Cohen of instigating propaganda against her. Now, this is according to Screen Rant. And Candace Dillard is under fire as the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion airs. And she believes that Andy Cohen is instigating propaganda against her. Now, with Candace being at the center of some of the biggest showdowns on the show, Andy has been grilling her in the role that she's played in some of the drama and calling the controversial housewife out at the reunion over her vicious remarks against the cast. But Candace fans think that Andy is being biased against Candace, and she agrees. Now, do you think that Candace is being targeted? Do you guys think that Andy Cohen is being too hard on Candace? Drop down in the comments and share your thoughts, right? Now, she was able to make it, you know, uh, the article continues that she was able to make it through season six without getting into another physical fight but she did get into a salad tossing match with Mia uh, that was the result of Candace's harsh clapbacks in season five her intimidating tactics toward Monique Samuels led to Monique laying hands on her in one of the most shocking fights in Housewives history in season four Candace pulled out a butter knife on Ashley Darby and threw it at her while demanding for her to leave her townhouse with all these uh, incidents lined up, Andy reminded Candace at the reunion that she is the quote unquote common denominator when it comes to the fights and asked her what she thought about that. It was obviously a tense moment. So Candace, she defended herself from the couch while Andy grilled her in part one of the reunion, but she had a lot more to say on Twitter 
after the show aired. She first responded to one fan who asked, do they want Candace to just sit there when people come for her? Candace seemingly agreed, saying, I would also like to know the answer to this. Another fan called out Andy and accused him of going harder on Candace than he did on Lisa Rinna and Erica Jane at the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion. So this fan said, y'all, I can't. Andy Cohen, we've been screaming from every part of the world to fire Rinna. Freaking hold Erica Jane accountable, but Candace Dillard's mouth is where you bring the heat? What in all the Fs? And then the heifer Giselle Bryant coming in condoning physical violence. This is what the fan wrote on social media. So instead of ignoring, ignoring the comment, Karen, Karen, Candace agreed. At this point, it's propaganda. So, okay, let me ask you a question, y'all. What do you guys think? And this is the um, the uh, the text. I mean, not the text. The uh, the tweet. What do you guys think? Do you think that now we know that Andy has definitely showed his bias in the past. He had his favorites, and it somewhat backfired on him. Kim Zolciak. What do you guys think about how Andy is questioning Candace and kind of holding her? to the fire, holding her feet to the fire. Do you think that Andy is being biased against Candace or do you think that Andy is being his regular, normal, shady self? I don't know. You be the judge. So the article goes on. She also agreed with some viewers who said that it's not what she says to her co-stars. It's the tone that she uses when saying it. Candace has been accused of body shaming her co-stars, physical features, and even seemingly mocked Mia's mom because of her sobriety journey. <laughs> Keeping my opinions to myself about this, because Candace, girl, <laughs> you be bugging. Many accuse Candace of being insensitive towards her co-stars and going for the jugular when engaged in a shade-throwing session. It results in a lot of backlash that Candace confessed has affected her mental health. Candace says, when you're on anxiety meds and praying to God that you don't take your own life because of the hurt and lies that people like you perpetuate because you don't like me on a TV show, come talk to me. Until then, actually shut the bleep up. This is what Candace said in response to, you know, one fan who accused her of hurting people with her words. So that's how she decides to respond. Great representation of yourself, Candace. <laughs> Yikes. The article continues, while the reunion is airing, Candace appears to have limited the comments on her IG post and only responds to certain tweets. She might be working to protect herself from all the online scrutiny that's coming her way. Um, with only one part aired and three more to go, Candace is only in the beginning phase of what's to come. But despite all the drama she's involved in, Candace has proven to be a standout on The Real Housewives of Potomac. She has a strong storyline outside of her cast drama and remains transparent about the issues in her family. Love her or hate her, but Candace looks like she might be here to stay for another season. And again, this is according to ScreenRant.com. How do you guys feel? <laughs> Throwing butter knives and whatnot? Listen, I feel that Andy has his favorites for whatever reason. Um, but let's not act like Miss Candace that your mouth... Girl, your mouth is fierce, okay? And um, everybody doesn't play by the same rules that you do. And some people will want to put hands and feet on you because of the things that you say and the things that you do. Good luck, Candace. We will see how this plays out, but I definitely want to hear uh, your opinion. Do you think that Candace is getting what she deserves and being grilled in the hot seat? Or do you think that Andy is uh, instigating propaganda against her? I mean, Candace, girl, they can roll the beautiful bean footage. But anyway, I digress. Let's shift gears to the people wanting Mr. Andy Cohen out of there. This is from the official page change.org, right? I actually looked this up to see if this was true because media outlets were reporting that there was a petition to get rid of Andy. Here go the petition, y'all. They got 1,095 people have signed it. So at 1,500 signatures, the petition is more likely to get picked up by uh, local news and they actually want to get to 1,500. This is interesting. This is really, really interesting. Um, but according to heavy.com, fans petition to remove Andy Cohen from Bravo as rumors swirl that Watch What Happens Live is done. Okay? So you guys know that Watch What Happens Live is the like an after show 
uh, for the Housewives and for a lot of the shows on Bravo. So it's like a late night talk show. Uh, Andy's in the clubhouse, you know, liquor is flowing and they, they get a little shady and not many things are off limits. Right. So apparently some of the ratings have not been the ratings recently have not been the best. So I know that there was r circulating rumors that uh, Watch What Happens Live might be over and Andy might be separating from Bravo. We don't know if any of that is true. Right. These are all rumors. But as far as the petition, uh, uh, you see it here. It's on change.org. OK, so um, let me see what the people are saying. Hold on. Let me get to this article. There's a lot of stuff in this heavy dot com article. Take this time to like the video. OK, um, so Andy Cohen, this is what is this is what the petition reads. Andy Cohen has been the face of Bravo for well over a decade. Lately, the host of the Real Housewives uh, reunions and Watch What Happens Live is becoming toxic to watch. He displays narcissistic, pompous, and rude behavior on reunion episodes and has come under fire for allegations of favoritism, racism, and sexism. The petition on change.org reads. So at this time that this article <laughs> was posted, uh, 850 people have signed it. You can see for yourself there. It's well over a thousand people. So I, I don't even know who the heck started this. Now, a lot of people are saying, I guess when he uh, gave the promotional video or showed the promotional video for Real Housewives of Dubai, some people were like, yeah, this is where we draw the line. Uh, it, a lot of backlash because in Dubai, the rules are different in the in the state, in the U.S., obviously. Um, so some people weren't happy about that. I don't know why people were up in arms about that. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but... I wouldn't mind seeing a Real Housewives of Dubai. I don't know why that received so much backlash. Uh, a lot of fans felt that Dubai wasn't like the right choice for a new franchise. I mean, I would love to see franchises outside of the United States, right? No, am I the only one? I don't know. I don't, I don't really understand per se why there was so much uh, backlash. Yes, their customs and beliefs are different, but are Americans really that arrogant to not want to explore outside of the u.s just because their customs are different does that mean that we shouldn't have real housewives of dubai i i don't i don't really understand that so the people want andy gone uh candace dillard says that andy is basically you know perpetuating negativity towards her fueling the propaganda wendy williams child i don't know if it was her or, or Deb Mar Mercury or whoever, but the episodes with Leah Remini and Michelle Visage are not on the Wendy Williams Show YouTube page. You can check and see for yourself, okay? So what I want you to do is drop down in the comments and share your thoughts. Do you think that Andy should be removed from Bravo? If Andy is no longer going to be the host of Watch What Happens Live or the Housewives reunions, who should take over? Hmm. That's a good question. All right, Royal Family, that's all I got. Ain't got no more. I'm signing off. Again, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you join the Royal Family. If you just want to be nosy and snoop around and check out the other content on the channel, I definitely don't mind. Feel free to do so. All right, I'm signing off. I love you for watching. And as always, until next time, peace.